I'm going to be giving you guys a complete number breakdown of a triplex. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. I am James Wise, and this is Holton Wise TV. So if you're trying to invest in the Cleveland market or multifamily in any of the lower cost Midwestern markets we have in the U.S., this is where you want to be, right? I have helped countless investors hit their goals in the real estate space, right? We've sold over $200 million of this stuff, right? We specialize in it. We're out in Northeast Ohio, and not only do we give you guys the number breakdown, which we're doing today, my team is your boots on the ground team, so it doesn't matter where you live, right? My client today, Paula, she's in Austin, Texas. You can't buy a triplex for the price I'm going to show you today in Austin, Texas. You also can't do it in New York. You can't do it in New Jersey. You can't do it in California. That's why so many people come here to us, and that's why the fact that we are your boots-on-the-ground partners is so important. We handle the property management, the maintenance, the construction. We deal with the government. We handle insurance. Hell, we can insure any rental property in the entire state of Ohio, and I can almost guarantee you if you reach out to my team for a no-obligation quote, we will probably beat what you're paying because all we focus on, folks, is investors now paula uh you've talked to me about various strategies and you were hoping to like pull off like a burr strategy right buy uh renovate rent refinance repeat the issue with that is you don't have enough cash okay you're not coming to the table with enough cash you only have thirty thousand dollars which in texas i know ain't gonna get you nowhere right here in cleveland it can get you somewhere but not with the burr strategy right because you need to have all the cash to pay for the property in cash and then fund the rental, right? You need a large amount of cash up front before you get it all back. So what you need to do is focus on properties like I'm going to show you today. This is a property. It's got some meat on the bone because the rents could be increased. It's already bringing in money, and you could pick it up with a residential loan, right? The bank will pay the majority of this, and you're only going to need to bring the down payment, 25%, which will be less than the thirty grand that you have, Paula. So let's actually break down the numbers and the performance expectations of this property right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's get into the meat. Yeah, the meat on this triplex, man. Triplexes and quads. Ooh, I love those properties, folks. I think they are the best types of rental properties for new investors, okay? Let me talk to you about financing. Residential financing is what this qualifies for. Traditional residential financing. That is the best financing there is in the world, okay? It's 30-year financing. Only requires a 25% down payment. It's low interest. It's fixed interest. And did I mention it's for 30 years? Because it's for 30 years, okay? There ain't no business in the world other than real estate investing where you can get somebody to loan you 75% of your uh, needs for 30 freaking years. You can't do that with a restaurant. Can't do that with a retail store. Can't do that if you're opening a barber shop, a tattoo shop. Can't do that if you're, I don't know, selling crap on Etsy, right? You can't do that. But you can do it with real estate. But here's the thing. That beautiful 30-year financing, there's only a small amount of properties that it qualifies for. Single-family homes, duplexes, triplexes, quads. All right. As soon as you get to five unit buildings, poof, it's gone. You can no longer get that 30 year financing. So I love triplexes and I love quads because those are the biggest, 
biggest buildings we can get with the best financing, okay? A four unit is as big as you can get. You're the biggest fish in a little pond. As soon as you go to a five unit, you're a little tiny fish in a big fucking ocean, okay? Commercial lenders don't even really like five units because it's the smallest they do, right? They want to do bigger loans, right? So the triplexes and quads, it's like that beautiful little niche that I think uh, brand new investors should really focus on, right? Really grow your money in this property. This just came back on the market. This is going to be a bidding war, okay? They want 109000 I don't think you're even going to be able to pick it up for 109000 I think you're going to have to pay 115 I want to say you pay 115 What are you going to get? Well, you'd be able to pull in market rent over the long haul. $2,000 a month in rent, right? Three rental income checks for one teeny little mortgage, right? Two Gs a month, 24 Gs a year. Of course, folks, you don't get to keep the 24 Gs. That's not how real estate works. Wish it did, but it don't, right? You're going to spend about half of that, right? I think you're going to clear around 12 and a half every year with my team managing your property, right? Doing the dirty work. This is where it gets so good. That 115 k investment, only 28750 comes out of your pocket. The other 86 and a quarter comes from the bank and all them tenants all them rent checks, they're going to pay off that bank note. That would project out to a 29% catch on cash return or an 11 cap. Now, if I were to end the video right now and you didn't like immediately present to me your $115,000 offer, you'd be out of your mind crazy. But that's not the end of the video. And what I'm going to explain to you now is where some more reality hits in. Everything I just told you is amazing. But we got to talk reality here. We got a little issue, though. We ain't there yet. Now, you only get two photos. Photo one, photo two. Just two shots of the outside. That's what the listing agent provided to us, right? Why isn't there more photos? Because we got three tenants already in there. And those three tenants aren't paying the amount of rent that I just explained to you. No, no, no. Those three tenants are paying $400, $650, and $500, right? The $400 tenant, that's the third floor, okay? Up here, small little unit, right? That market rent is going to go from $400 to $5. So we're pretty close there. The other two, one's at $650, that's pretty close as well. That needs to go up another $100 to $750. And then the other one is super low, $5. It's $250 away, right? Those are the tenants you're getting. It's going to take us some time to get that $2,000 a month rent roll. My opinion, Section 8 is the best type of rent to get in a property like this, in a neighborhood like this. These tenants aren't Section 8, though, right? But they have been paying thus far. So what we got to do, take it over. Collect the money it currently brings in, because it does cash flow currently, but not as well as the numbers I presented to you. Collect all the money we can get and slowly increase those rents, right? The folks that are $100 variants... $100 here or there doesn't really matter. What you really want to focus on is making sure they don't move out. Because if they move out, we're going to have to renovate the unit, right? I don't have pictures of what the inside of these units look like. But guess what, folks? I've sold over $200 million worth of stuff. I'll tell you what is unlikely. What is unlikely is all three of these units are going to be rent ready when these people move out, right? If you think that, no. Your, your head's not in the game, all right? I can almost guarantee you all three of these units are going to need at least $5,000 of cosmetic work when these folks move out. They're all long-term tenants, all right? We're going to have to repaint. We're going to have to probably redo the floors. We're probably going to have to update kitchens and baths, right? Okay? That's just the nature of the beast, right? So what we really want to do is keep people in our units as long as we possibly can. And we do that by slowly increasing our rents, right? And when they actually do move out, we're going to make another smart decision. Then we're going to renovate the units to the nines, and then we're going to place Section 8 tenants in there. Because when you're working in a neighborhood like this, turnovers, they're part of the game, number one. Number two, what else is part of the game is tenants not actually paying the rent. You have to evict them, right? You guys see the Tents from Hell show we got here on Holton Wise TV. We evict motherfuckers. That's what we do. If you're going to be a landlord, a victim motherfuckers is going to be part of your job, okay? Now, my team, we do the hard part of your job, right? And even though uh, it makes for a great show, a victim motherfuckers isn't super profitable, right? When we're a victim, people, we're, you know, you're spending money, right? So you don't want to do that, right? So how do you avoid a victim, people? 
you could never avoid it, but you could mitigate it, right? And you mitigate the risks of eviction. You mitigate the frequency of eviction if you eliminate the biggest problem and the biggest driver of evictions. And that is the tenant not paying the rent. So how do you eliminate that, right? You could do it two ways. One, go to like an A-grade neighborhood where... Uh, your tenant base is incredibly stable and them missing a rent payment is infrequent and very rarely ever happens. Okay, that's one way. But if you do that, you sure as hell ain't going to be able to pick it up for one hundred and ten or one hundred and fifteen thousand. You're not going to be able to get this type of price to rent ratio. So that leads you to the second thing. Guarantee that. Their rent comes in on time every single month. Eliminate those things such as, oh, I got fired from my job. Oh, my car broke down. This or that. Eliminate all those excuses by getting a guaranteed rental income from Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam takes enough of our money that we're earning. Let's get a little bit of that back with a guaranteed rental income property. That, for all those reasons, is why I think this triplex is a banger. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.